I'm Marty Levinson, and welcome to the Nordtown News Magazine. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Thomas, and I'm looking to cut crime in the 44th Ward. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine show with the greatest cameraman around, Sonny Hirsch, and your host, Avi Myers. Thank you, Marty. Avi Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine. It is election time. It is a pleasure to present you to one of my personal favorite aldermen, and somebody who I wish would come on the show more often. Um, he's in a very neighboring ward, the 40th Ward, and he's running for re-election. He's the floor leader, if that's the right term, of the city council, and that is Alderman Pete O'Connor. How are you? I'm fine, Avi. Thanks for having me. First of all, thank you for coming. I appreciate that. And one of these days, I have to get you to do a Marty Levinson, but uh, <laughs> that's another story. Um, so you, you've got a challenger this time, actually. It's the first time in a while. Um, but, you know, we've always tried to work uh, assuming that we always would have one. So, you know, we, uh, we're up and running and doing the things that you need to do to get reelected. And I've been there a while. I'm hoping that people see a record that they're, uh, they're happy with and accepting of. I doubt you'll have a problem. One of the things that really interests me about the, about the race when I was reading about it is, you know, generally speaking, it's, it's, it's the old established people that know how to pull the right dirty tricks. You had one of the most interesting original dirty tricks pulled on you for the objection. <laughs> it's it's kind of interesting. Um, we we always review petitions and things like that to determine if there's something that's not right. Um, you know, the, the petition challenge that was filed, it really wasn't a petition challenge. It was a challenge of the documentation that went along with the petitions. It was like thrown out without argument the first time and appealed and thrown out without argument the second time. It was really baseless, but I think it was just an opportunity to try and get some publicity. Uh, it succeeded. It definitely caught my attention, <laughs> yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. But I, I really, it's like, you know, I, I've seen so many, that, I didn't think there was anything, a new dirty trick that somebody could pull that I hadn't seen, and, and sure enough, that was, that was a brand new one. <laughs> it's, it, it, was, it was interesting, but quite honestly, I just think in a way it wasn't the brightest thing because I, I think that when you're spending money on a lawyer to file a baseless complaint, if there's no hope of having it succeed, then you really need to make sure that you get the publicity commensurate with the expense. And I'm not sure that that was the case. Well, you know, as you know yourself, there's an awful lot of people who have no idea what they're entering when they enter an election or politics or anything else. And, um, you know, it, it's like, hey, you're playing in the major leagues all of a sudden. <laughs> well, you got to come prepared to play. Um, there's no doubt. And um, part of it is that, you know, it, it's, if you've been in government for a while, as you suggest, it's a serious business. It's not something that you can go at, like, ha half cocked. Right. <laughs> you have to go in ready to go, ready to go. Yeah, there's no question about it. And, um, you know, you, you've had really quite a distinguished career. You were head of the Education Committee, your floor leader now, and uh, not to mention the fact that you're very influential along police lines. You've got a, plenty in your family. <laughs> well, the nice thing for me is is that um, um, I have a I have a good committee assignment this time. Uh, the committee I chair does all of the uh, negotiations for the contracts for every contract. Wow! We do all the negotiations for the pensions. Um, we did the uh, the minimum wage increase. So it was a brand new committee that was created just this uh, last four years. Uh, the workforce development and audit. And so it's it's all about job creation. It's all about auditing auditing efficiencies. And so while it's not the education committee, which really was my first love for a long time, um, and I do think that education is probably one of the most important things that we've we faced, uh, the pension crisis and and labor peace uh, over the course of the last four years has been a pretty pretty intense situation, and we've worked hard at it. Yeah, and I also want to point out to the people watching the show because there is a decent sized Jewish community in. Um, in your ward, um, that for, for people who are not realized, you, you have been a tremendous friend of education in the Jewish community. And when people need legitimate help for a good institution, you've always been there for them. Well, that's nice of you to say. I, I, I learn a lot. Um, I was, I, I'm a good friend of, uh, of a, a public court judge who is a, uh, who's Jewish. We went to high school together, and uh, we were talking about the A-roof around yeah. the community. <laughs> And I knew what it was, and he didn't. 
<laughs> so I, I thought that was just tremendous, right? you know. I, I was teaching him something for a change. <laughs> You know, it, I, I wish I could tell you it surprises me. It really doesn't surprise <laughs> me. You know, there's a lot of people who don't really realize their 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 own stuff along those lines. But no, you you definitely. Uh, oh, and by the way, I should point out too that of course in Jewish Chicago, which I haven't finished writing yet, and it will be out. Um, you know, actually, it'll be out before this gets on the air. You are definitely endorsed in Jewish Chicago. Oh, that's a wonderful thing. I appreciate it. So no, and listen, the Jewish community very much appreciates all the help you've given it over the years and, and, and the good job you've done. You know, that just because a person's in power doesn't necessarily mean they have to do something. And some people are easy to deal with and some people uh, set themselves up on pedestals and uh, basically, you know, want you to stand underneath their um, throne, let's put it that way. <laughs> But no, you've always been a very approachable person, and as a matter of fact, two of my two of my favorite neighborhood guys, you know, even even, even think so highly of you. They they uh, Terry O'Brien and Dennis Fleming, they're working in your organization now. Well, you know, I've I've always considered myself from the neighborhood first. I mean, I grew up in the neighborhood. I I, I moved in on Artesian and Bryn Mawr when I was eight. Um, I still live in the neighborhood. My mom and four of my five siblings all live within about a half mile. Um, my five children all live within a half mile of my home. Um, it really is our home and our neighborhood. And, you know, once you look at it like that, um, it's, it's kind of tough to get a big head when everybody you see is people you've known all your life. You know, they know who you were when you were a kid. They know who you are now. But that's healthy. I think that's really healthy to, to get a perspective. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it, it helps me in my job. There's, not, there's no place in the neighborhood that I haven't been in terms of, like, no, pretty much no alley. I haven't walked down or been chased down or, you know, <laughs> something. So, so it, it helps when you know your area, and it, and it helps, helps you kind of stay in touch with the people that you serve. That's very cool. What's your website? Uh, it's uh, electaldermanoconnor.com, but we also have the city website, which is ward40 at cityofchicago.org. Um, you know, we, uh, we have a fairly... Um, we have a good website. Some of the members of the council have pointed to mine as an example of what a website should look like for for the city council, um, and and we update it every day, and uh, it's pretty interactive. So we're pretty proud of it. I'm gonna have to check it out. Anyway, vote early, vote often, or at least once for Alderman <laughs> Pietro Conner in the 40th ward. Thanks, Ari. Thank you so much, and good luck in the election. Thanks. A pleasure to be back. My pleasure.